everyone. This week we start our opportunity for growth. And so the idea is that we're going to make sure we're trying to do things that's going to help us kind of grow throughout this whole process. I know a lot of you have been uh, spending some time working on some of the physics problems of the last few weeks, and I appreciate you guys taking time to do that. We want to continue that growth as we move forward between now and the end of the school year. Though we may not have time to see together, see each other face to face, uh, there's going to be lots of opportunities for us to really continue our growth uh, through this. And I'm hoping that you guys will like the things that I do to help you move in that direction. So, you know, when uh, when this quarantine first started, you know, one of the movies that started popping out on memes was the movie Groundhog Day. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the movie Groundhog Day, but um, Bill Murray here, the actor, his name is Phil, and he winds up actually repeating Groundhog Day over and over again. And in that repetition, he goes through some struggles, commits suicide on a, many occasions, and realizes it didn't matter, his life would never end, and he keeps repeating this day. And so to solve it, he does a lot of different things, and he finally gets out of it. And what you learn from the whole process is that, number one, um, by him focusing on others and not himself, he was able to grow as a person. So as an example, every day he would catch this kid that always fell off of a, a tree. Um, or he would help an older man who was homeless and he would give him a meal. Or he would uh, time it so that when these late old ladies would run out of, would uh, get a flat tire, he would replace their tire. And he would do this on a repetitive basis over and over again. Now, of course, you don't always have the opportunity to know the exact things that happen in people's lives. But because you know your family's routines, hopefully, uh, you can figure out ways to kind of help them out. Lesson number two that he learned is that no matter what your situation is, be positive. Keep learning and make the most of it. And in the movie, you know, he learned some skills. He decided to take piano lessons. And so by the time his, his repetitive day ended, he actually knew how to play the piano. Um, he, actually, he learned how to carve ice and was able to make, you know, this beautiful, uh, of course, I don't think he did it, but you get the idea. Uh, he just had this ability to learn, made the use of it, and he was able to gain some skills. And so the question then becomes for you, you know, what can you do? So to share what I've been doing, um, you know, we have this uh, thing called the Ludo where teachers are doing professional learning and I was able to become the number six person in the entire district in terms of my ranking on a Ludo because of the professional development that I was doing for myself. And I was able to earn these badges on productivity, um, classroom apps, digital citizenship, pedagogy, um, and uh, other, I can't even read those because they're so blurry, but you get the idea. So I even earned some badges through it. And so I've been spending some time learning myself on how to improve myself. On the outside of school, uh, one of the things I've been doing is called the Rise Up Challenge. And this started on 4-5, and it is actually going all the way till 4-24. It's 20 days uh, in which um, uh, Mr. Vargas hosts all these different motivational speakers and it's really been helpful to me to listen to them and one of the motivational speakers that actually was in it uh, his name is Nick Santon Santonatasso um, and he was born with no legs missing an arm and in his other left arm he's got one finger that's it and you think what the heck how can this guy go from this to being an inspiration and uh, I'm gonna be sharing his motivational story tomorrow as part of one of the motivational videos, but you know, he, he talks about the emotion of gratitude and and how him being grateful for for having the life that he has um, helps him conquer a bunch of the challenges that he's faced. Now he's a motivational speaker. He's also a model. Um, and then another guy that I was introduced to just this past weekend was Jack Canfield, and he's the author or co-creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul books. And he actually wrote this book called The Success Principles. And, you know, it talks about how to get from where you are to where you want to be. And during his talk, he talked about these things, these habits that billionaires have. And six habits that were common was that, you know, the shared traits of billionaires that they always wake, woke up early, around 530 in the morning. 
They keep healthy, meaning they exercise every day. They read. They contemplate and they think, so they're always thinking and contemplating. Um, they develop routines. And last but not least, they practice discipline. And so as part of our first assignment for you guys is I want to make sure that we do something that kind of helps you move in this direction, okay, helps you move in this direction. And so what's our simple thing to do? We're just going to have you create a schedule, and then you're going to submit it. And in that schedule, one of the things I want you to think about is how can you develop those six things that he listed, um, waking up early or earlier than probably what you're doing now, um, but then Pay attention to the spiritual side. So that's the meditation thing that he does, that that, um, that uh, billionaires do. They exercise. So what's your physical development that you're going to do? Um, and they're always thinking. So there's an intellectual development that needs to happen for you as well on a daily basis. Most of the assignments you do for your teachers will take care of that. But if you don't do it, you don't develop it. Um, and then the last but not least, the social emotional development. You know that you are. This is some tough times. This is not easy. You know, you miss your friends, for you who are seniors, which I only have a few of you, but, you know, this is the time when you're supposed to have your prom, this is when you're supposed to have your, your social events, such as going to grad night, that you're just missing out on now. And so, what are you going to do, all of you, even if you're not seniors, that you can do to develop your social, emotional, you know, self? And maybe it's just doing regular phone calls with people. And having a phone call, phone conversation with them. You know, I like going walks with my wife. That certainly helps me out a lot. And I certainly like to visit with my children every morning to make sure they're doing okay. Um, but then, you know, what are you doing spiritually? What are you doing physically? You just really need to make sure you're taking care of your whole self. And you have multiple components of yourself you really need to take care of. So as you build your schedule, think about what are the spiritual things that's going to help you that you can do to develop your spiritual side, your physical side intellectual side, and then your social emotional side. So I've already put an assignment out on Google Classroom. Some people have already started doing it, but in Google Classroom, you know, the growth opportunity energy lessons, um, attendance check-in was for today. Looks like, let's see how many people have already done it in period three. Thirteen of you, good. And then creating a schedule. Looks like three people have done it already, but you need to work on that for uh, the next day. This is going to be due on Wednesday. Um, and then likewise, um, you know, the, the schedule, um, I give you a blank one and then I give you an example of mine. You can see that I typically wake up close to six o'clock every morning. I try to keep that same routine every morning. A lot of times <laughs> dishes are still not done in the morning. So I take care of that. I cook breakfast, read the paper, um, do a little meditation, prayer, watch the news a little bit. And then about seven thirty is when I take care of other things like brushing my teeth, shave, take my meds, and do my hair. But what do you do? Share what you do. Put this schedule. Print it out if you have a printer at home. You know, do something so you can put a schedule for yourself. You know, like the physics, you know, the office hours, you know, I'm, we're changing that to 1230 for physics. And then for my ALW class, that'll be at 1 o'clock. But really think about what can you do to give time to help yourself, whether it's spiritually, in my case, meditation prayer whether it is intellectually in my case I do growth of my business stuff um, whether it is physically when I actually exercise um, or if it's social emotional that's where you have time with family games TV shows whatever it is so make sure you work, work on that balance for yourself as well and then as you take care of that we'll actually uh, uh, you know hopefully if you can keep to a schedule and keep to a routine, it'll keep you sane. It really will. It really will. So please work on that and see what you can do. So a couple of announcements. We're going to start a new unit called Energy. The lessons and assignments will typically be posted on Monday and Wednesdays. So because today is Monday, obviously I'm not posting anything for Energy today. I'm working on just focusing on you, get that schedule right, work on thinking about all those aspects that can help you out. And then I'm also going to post uh, motivational videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, just these little assignments. I may ask you to write a journal entry, um, create a Google Doc for that, and then share that with me. But just, you know, you really need to, to really grow and give yourself a chance to grow. I mean, this is really a great opportunity um, where you're not going to get this again probably in your lifetime. 
And the question is, are you going to come out of this better than who you were before? Or are you going to come out of this worse? You know, I, I talk to my children a lot and, you know, they spend their time working on watching their YouTube videos, whether it's on slime, whether it's on uh, BTS, whether it's on, um, in my son's case, uh, a guy who actually, um, actually I have the notes on here on my phone. Um, there's a guy who actually uh, took the song that um, Imagine, all those, um, and uh, he, he, he changes the key on his piano for every time the new person comes in with a different key because they're not all on key. Um, but just, you know, and the, the question I asked all of them is, are those really helping you become a better person or are you just consuming? And if you're going to consume something, consume something that's going to motivate you. Consume something that's going to make you a better person. Consume something that's going to, you know, improve who you are so that you can continue growing during this time. So... Those are the short motivational videos I'm going to try and help you with a little bit. And obviously, if you have some that you want to share with others, please share them with me and I'll share that with the class as well. Um, office hours will be now 1230 to 1, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so if you need any help on any of the energy lessons, you know, of course, come and ask me. Uh, and uh, the Google uh, Hangout or Meet is always the same one. So I never change the actual link. It's always the same link. So if you just go to that same one that's posted, um, I will make sure it's more available to you again. You guys know where to find it. Other than that, you know, take good care of yourselves. You know, this is another opportunity again to grow. This is a, a growth opportunity for you. Let's take that opportunity. Let's make ourselves better.